Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, here at the OU Innovation Hub Fab Lab. This video will talk about how to use our metal cutting bandsaw safely. Metal cutting bandsaw, a lot like the wood bandsaw, is used to cut straight and curve things out of metal. It'll do thick metal, it'll do thin metal. There's a few things to bear in mind though, of course, before you run off and start to use this. This large upper blade guide here can be adjusted. You'll need to loosen this here and then turn this wheel. You want this to sit about a quarter inch above the top of your material. Oh, about right there for something thin. And then lock it back down. If this won't spin all the way around, you need to pull it out and use it more like a ratchet. When you pull it out, it spins freely. Only when it's pushed in does it engage and then you can actually turn the bolt. Here we have a miter gauge, just like a lot of the other tools in the shop. You'd use this if you wanted to cut an angle on this bandsaw. Although if you wanted to cut an angle, a lot of times you'd use the chop saw and set it instead. However, using this is really simple. Loosen the thumb screw, set it here to whatever angle you want, and then retighten it. Now, it has a positive stop here at 90 and then at each 45. To use the positive stop, which is calibrated, you simply push this little pin in and then rotate it until it stops. At that point, then lock it down. Then once you've got this set where you want, you put it in the T-slot, hold your workpiece up against it, and run it through. We don't normally use this though, but it's here if you need it. Here we've got a little fence, which we don't use a whole lot, but it is here in case you need to make nice straight cuts here in a plate or sheet of metal. Tighten this little hand wheel wherever you want it, keep your piece up against the fence just like you would on a table saw and run it through. Two hands, press down, don't wear gloves on this just in case uh, because you might get your glove caught in the blade and it could try to pull you into the table and that would be very very bad. Anytime you're using this tool, anytime you're in this room, you got to wear safety glasses. With this tool you also might want to wear the earmuffs as well because it can get really really loud when you're cutting through some uh, metal. Anyway, on off is just right here. We've got it set to go slow to cut metal. Now it has some different speeds and things, but we typically leave it right here because this is pretty much, it's a one trick pony for the most part. We use it to cut metal plates and small bars. Well, that's pretty much all there is to this bandsaw. Just like the wood bandsaw over there, it's very, very simple, but it's also very, very versatile and a decent bit of fun. I'm Mike Thompson coming to you from the OU Innovation Hub Fab Lab. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so that you can stay updated with all the awesome stuff that we've got going on around here all the time. What do you want to make?